Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Monday vlog. I do have quite a bit of stuff to do today. So I thought I would just bring you guys along with and show you guys what I'm doing. It is now 9.54 and my orange theory class starts at 10, so I do need to run in. But yeah, it's gonna be a busy day today. <laughs> I really wanna show you guys a new way on how I curl my hair. So that's gonna be like, top of the list of today but I do need to wash and blow dry my hair so I can show you guys like the new way I've been curling my hair but other than that and then also I do want to declutter my makeup today I have a bunch of makeup I need to literally throw away and then I also want to get a pedicure and I'm cooking HelloFresh tonight I'm not sponsored I just love HelloFresh Brian and I have been doing it lately and it's been really nice hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. And then also, don't forget to follow my Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see more behind the scenes, a little bit of my life. So, I will see you guys after my workout. Hey guys, so I am dressed. I have makeup on. I did some curls on my hair that I'm about to show you in one second, but it is now 2.50 p.m. and I've just been busy doing things around the house, but I wanted to show you guys a really cool curling iron. It's called the Beach Waver. Shout out to the Beach Waver for sponsoring this portion of the video. I am obsessed with this tool, like literally obsessed. I'm going to bring it to work with me and I'm going to start curling everyone's hair with this. It's amazing. And I already curled um, pretty much all of my hair, but I left the top portion off because I know it's a little bit harder for some people to curl like the top of their hair. As you can see, it gives you more of like the beachy curls which I really love. I also have from the Beach Waver the BRB Blonde Purple Shampoo Conditioner. This stuff is really nice and it smells so, 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 so good. I used a little bit earlier today and as you can see, my hair is a little bit more beige looking. I don't like to leave it on that long because I don't want my hair super ashy, but I like more of like the beigey tints. Stormy, why are you crying? You want to come up here? And then I also have from the Beach Waver their heat protectant hairspray and then also their dry shampoo. This stuff is really cool because it's a heat protectant but it also has hold. And in the back it claims that it's free of negative energy, paraben free for her for I can't I can't pronounce these things. So I'm just gonna like insert it right here. And I like how you can spray it as a heat protectant, but it gives you a little bit more hold. I have to be careful because my camera is going to fall and then for the beach waver i have the new floral one which is limited edition and then i have the og one which this one is one and a quarter usually one and a quarter is what i like to use typically every day but i do like the smaller barrel for more of like a tighter beachy wave and i did use the one and a quarter all over my hair but i'm going to use the one inch for the top section because i do like the top section um, more of like a tighter curl because it just lasts longer. I already turned it on. There's these really cool settings here. It makes it very easy. And I put it for 390 degrees. And then I'm going to spray my hair with some of the heat protectant hairspray. And this stuff smells so good. And I'm going to take my floral beach waver and I'm going to start at the very end. And I'm going to clamp it, but you want to leave some of the ends out like this. And then there's a setting on the side where you can get it fast or slow of a turn. I like it fast. And you have the arrows here, which is forward and backwards. So I'm going to press it backwards to give me that effortless beachy curl. And this barrel does get pretty hot. I do have it at 390 degrees, so I'm just going to leave it on for a little bit. And then instead of unwinding it, I just like to unclamp it like that. And then as you can see... The ends are out and I do like to wait till the end to kind of break it up a little bit with my fingers. So then now, Luke, don't jump off. Good boy. <laughs> so now I'm going to take another section here. I'm going to clamp it but leave the ends out and then I'm going to start turning it. Just like that. Leave it on for a little bit. I'm going to turn it a little bit more. And then just unclamp it. And then there you go, you have another curl. This curling iron is so, so cool. Such a cool concept. I'm definitely going to bring this to work with me and do it on all of my clients at work. And I'm sure they're going to love it too because it's just a very easy to achieve that beachy wave. There we go. 
Stormy, what are you doing? She's crazy. I would bring her up here on the bed, but she will literally bite and tear up everything. So we're just gonna leave her down there. And I'm just gonna uncurl. There we go. And then here is the last section. So we're gonna leave the ends out and then start curling. Just like that. I'll leave it on for a little bit and then unclamp it. Boom. There we go. Here we go. And then now I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of brush it through. And then as you can see, this heat protectant hairspray kind of gave me a little bit more hold. Oh, it looks good. I love it so much. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you this side real quick. So I'm going to take this side here. We're going to, leave, again, leave the ends out just like that. And then now we're going to curl it away from the face. Like that leave it on for a couple seconds and then unclamp section I'm gonna show you guys how to do it like the opposite way so the best way I like to curl it the opposite way is just have the clamp and make sure that it's facing like as you can see it's facing like inward and then you're gonna press the arrow and then curl it towards your face so as you can see it's going towards my face not behind my face just gonna let that go the bang area go away from the face leave it on for a couple seconds so now I'm going to take my fingers and just kind of comb it or you could use a brush but me personally I just like to use my fingers it looks so good and since my hair is freshly clean I do like that second third day dirty hair so I'm just gonna apply some dry shampoo because this is gonna give it like some texture And it smells amazing, just like the heat protectant. I like to spray it like just underneath the hair. And it also gives it like a little bit of body and a little bit of lift. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. <laughs> Looks so good. So as you can see, this is the finished look. It looks so good, so beachy. I highly, highly recommend these iron, especially if you're not good with curling or if you really want that like beachy wave. This is game changer. I do have a discount code. I believe it's Ash20. I'll link it here on the screen and I will link everything else down below in case you guys are interested. Definitely pick up an iron, especially this cute limited edition one with the roses. I love pink, so this is definitely a vibe for me. So cute. And then I do like the one and a quarter for more of like that everyday style, but they're both very good. If you have shorter hair, I would definitely recommend the one inch. If you have long, long hair, I would recommend the one and a quarter. But I do love both of them so much, especially the small one for the top area. And it looks so cute, so obsessed. Thank you to Beach Waver for sponsoring this portion of the video. And I will link all of the information down below. So thank you so much. So I'm going to head to Target now and I need to pick up some makeup remover, Garnier, like micellar water. And then what else do I need to pick up? I had something in my mind that I needed to pick up and I forgot. Deodorant, maybe, we'll see. But I'm gonna run there real quick. And then what else do I need to do? Oh, I want to declutter my makeup. So we're gonna do that too. I might do that first and then run to Target. I will bring you guys along with. All right, we are going to be decluttering some makeup because it's been long overdue. I should probably get a trash bag, but let me... Yeah, so I have a little basket that I'm gonna use to put some of the trash in here and I will put in the trash later. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this drawer right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and begin. Um, so in this drawer I have all face products. I have a bunch of face products in here, and let me tell you, there's a bunch of old stuff in here that I need to get rid of. We're gonna go ahead and start with the top drawer. This is just my little sp spatula that I use for my face stuff. I don't want this portion to be really, really long, so I'm just gonna like speed things up. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna do like a speed version of this. So we're not here forever. All these ColourPop foundations are all brand new, so I'm not gonna get rid of this. And then this is my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Love this foundation. Actually, the stuff that I'm going to keep, I'm going to put in here. Because I do want to reorganize this. I have Charlotte Tilbury. 
Um, so <laughs> I have a bunch of makeup that Ryan's mom gave me because she didn't want it and I'm sure this stuff is so old. And that's another thing is that I want to get rid of like expired makeup and this is definitely expired. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and then I don't know what this is. And then she also gave me like Stella stuff. Stila, Stella. She gave me Stila stuff, like Stila foundations. And I'm sure this is all old, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. I have this old Morphe skin tint that I got years ago. This is disgusting, looks disgusting. And I only used it like one time, didn't love it. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, this primer is new, so this foundation is new too, but I'm not a fan of it, so I will probably put it in my makeup kit. This primer is old, I'm gonna get rid of it. I used to love this primer. If you guys watched my videos since the beginning, I was obsessed with this primer for such a long time, but it's probably old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, this is just a, like a, a pigment. Um, I'm gonna keep it because I like it for brides. She gave me a Dr. Jart BB Nourishing Cream. I'm gonna throw this away, that's old. This e.l.f. concealer and light sand. This is not old, so I'm gonna keep this. Um, this is a little sample. This NYX. This is a NYX white base for eyeshadow. I like to keep this for um, colorful makeup looks, even though I don't do that on the daily. But for like festivals and stuff, I do like to keep this. This is the old container. Another Morphe skin tint. This is gross. Gonna throw this away. Elf, Tatcha. This is like all random stuff I don't even use anymore. That's a sample. Oh my god, this NYX Born to Glow. I used to love this years ago. Wow. Gonna have to throw that away, obviously. This e.l.f. Hydrating Primer Serum. I'm gonna throw this away. There's a bunch of old stuff in here. I used to love the Hyaluronic um, Pretty Fresh ColourPop Concealer, but that's old. I'm gonna throw that away. There's a lot of old stuff in here. Another Morphe skin tint. Oh my god, I spent so much money on this and I didn't even like it. So I'm gonna throw this away again. All right, so we're gonna speed this up. I'm going to do as much as I can and then I will get back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I just finished with the first drawer and now the second drawer is going to be lip products, which is like my favorite product. And I'm definitely gonna throw away like the majority of stuff that's in here. So let's begin. We are decluttered feels so great look at all the stuff i am throwing away i mean that's a bunch of lip products foundations concealers random things and then in here we have like random blushes highlighters um eyebrow pencils and some skincare as well so i will show you guys a little sneak peek i didn't go through every single drawer because in these last two drawers it's like for like random things that I got on my ipsy bag and in this drawer it's like EDC stuff so the first drawer I already showed you guys but so the first drawer is all organized and cleaned up I'm eventually gonna get some new bins to swap to throw these out but I have all my foundations right here I have concealers um, I have a primer here my eyebrow pomade and then I have travel size primers in here full size primers and then in here i have mascara and a bunch of my eyeliners and then back in that corner i just have um samples and then i will put my mirror and spatula right there the second drawer is lip glosses and lipsticks basically lip products obviously i got rid of 90 percent of the things <laughs> everything was just so old i had to throw them away um, in this bin back here, it's just random glosses that I don't use, but I want to keep. And then back here, I have, um, eyebrow cleaner, alcohol, I have a random Morphe case right here. And then I have lip liners, lipsticks, and then lip glosses. My most used lip products is actually in a pouch in my work bag, um, but I do have, like, random stuff in here in case I need to grab real quick. And then in here, I have all my palettes. I didn't go through in here because, honestly, it's very hard for me to let go of some of these things. Um, I thought about getting rid of the Jaclyn Hill palettes, but I'm just, like, not ready yet. <laughs> and then, over here, 
this is cleaned up a lot too. I have all of, I have some powders, liquid, highlighters, another powder. I have bronzers that I don't really use back here, but I want to keep. And then I have all of my most used bronzers here. I have blushes. I got rid of so many blushes. Uh, I just kept the ones that I wear mostly. And then I have like a highlighter right here. And then I have cream products here. I have cream um, bronzers that I love, the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have the Milani cream blushes that I love. And then I have my Rare Beauty blush that I want to pick up another one of. I also have the Cheek Kiss from Milani. And then all of the Milk cream products, the bronzer, the blushes. And then over here I have like random eyeshadows that I like to use every day. I also have the liquid Stila um, eyeshadows that I like, especially that I have I um, especially since I have eyelash extensions. This is nice because there's no fallout on the extensions. And I just have like a sharpener. So that is so that is all organized. And then in here I have my skincare. I did get rid of quite a bit of skincare, but I do have a lot of samples that I haven't used yet. I actually put these two up here to remind me to use them the next couple days. And then this e.l.f. camo pressed powder, I have to return for a darker shade. But yeah, everything is pretty much organized and I didn't really touch under here because this is pretty organized. And then down here is lashes that I don't really use obviously and then here's like a bunch of random stuff too so i am feeling pretty happy that i decluttered some of this stuff i had to do this such a long time ago and here i am procrastinating but i got it done and i'm feeling pretty good so what time is it now it is 4 22 p.m ryan is at a doctor's appointment right now checking out his back and I'm gonna see what time he's gonna get home. If not, I'm gonna run to Target real quick to get a couple things. And then I wanna go to TJ Maxx to see if they have dog stairs. Since Luke is a little, since Luke is being a little bit more active right now, I'm like really scared he's gonna injure himself or he's not gonna fully heal. So I wanna at least get dog stairs so he doesn't jump off the couch or jump off the bed. He has the stairs to help him. So that's going to be a little bit of a mission. Hopefully I can find it there. If not, um, I have to buy it on Amazon. But that is a little update. And I will check in with you guys later. I'm back from Target. And I only got a couple things, which is good. I got a cauliflower buffalo style chicken pizza. This is good for when I get out of work late. And I don't have time to cook anything. I'll just eat this. It's pretty healthy. I got some cream cheese to make some bagels. I've been really craving bagel and cream cheese. I also got Halo Top ice cream. This is the peanut butter cup flavor and it's dairy free. It's made of coconut milk. And the macros on here are pretty good, so I cannot wait to eat this tonight. I also got two yogurts from the Too Good brand. I got the Meyer Lemon and Raspberry. This I like to take for work as a snack. Just got some Cascade dish soap. I got Bagel. This is the same brand that I use the, like the slice healthy um, bread. It's the Organic Sprouted Power Bagels from Silver Hills. It's new and I'm so excited to eat this with some cream cheese tomorrow. I did get two Celsius because just a little pick me up at work. I got the kiwi guava and then the mango passion fruit. They're both sparkling. And then I picked up the um, micellar water cleanser makeup remover. That's the reason why I went to Target. And then also some Dove deodorant. This is new. This is the Zero Aluminum deodorant. So I'm very excited to try this because I hate the actual stick. I like a spray form deodorant. So I'm excited to try this out. This is in the scent cucumber and green tea. It smells very fresh and clean. And then I got some like cotton rounds for the makeup remover and then the Smart Sweet Sweet Fish. These are so good. I did buy a like 16 pack on Amazon, but they do go bad pretty quickly. So if you don't eat them quick enough, um, it just kind of, it's not the same. So I did just get one bag of the Sweet, of the Sweet Fish. Kind of like the Swedish Fish gummies. 
these are healthy and that is it from target pretty proud i didn't spend a lot of money and i got exactly what i needed so now i'm gonna cook hello fresh this is the recipe i'm gonna make tonight it's the balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti looks so good and it says five minute prep and then 30 minute cook time so i'm going to put all this stuff away and then i'm going to cook dinner real quick and then i'll show you guys like the end result of dinner i can't wait for this oh and it is about to be six o'clock so i want to do an early dinner because i feel like i didn't eat a lot today so i'm very hungry and then after dinner we're going to take the dogs to either a dog park or a stroll around the neighborhood i haven't shown stormy at all today look at stormy girl she's a crazy girl she's a crazy girl look how cute you are look how cute you are look show them your cute face show them your cute face what you want to hug me hmm that's my little stormy girl that's my little stormy girl no oh, you see she always want to bite <laughs> We're on for a little evening walk, stroll, I should say. We discovered a new park. Where should we go? This way? Yeah. Where the dock is at? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm having trouble steering this one hand. I know. Look. It's just chilling. Looks chillin'. Look, come here. That's my baby. Hi, baby. Storm, storm. That was a success. Do it again. Yep. Next time we're gonna do a picnic. So we are back from our evening stroll walk. It was really nice to get the dogs out of the house, especially Luke because he's been cooped up on bed rest, but he's getting better. We're allowing him to have a little bit more movement and for him to play with Stormy a little bit more. We discovered this new park close to our apartment. That's like a little hidden gem and Ryan kind of took me there and showed me and it's so cute. So we're definitely going to go there more and maybe do some picnics. And there's a lot of shaded area which is nice for the dogs. But I can't wait for Luke to be fully healed so he can really enjoy that park and like run around with Stormy. Especially when Stormy gets her shots. So it is now 8 o'clock and I'm going to take a shower, take my makeup off and... Get ready to chill. I just took a shower, took my makeup off, and now I'm ready to relax for the rest of the night. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this vlog, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little beach wave tutorial. I'm obsessed with that tool. I'm obsessed with my hair. It looks so good. I will leave the discount code on the screen here and down below. To, and down below as well. Definitely check them out, especially if you have a hard time using a curling iron. That thing is so easy to use, and I'm definitely gonna use it on my clients. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help you roll out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.